What's up everyone, this is Amy from TCO77 and today we are going to be reviewing the Xylon ROM for the Samsung Vibrant. The Xylon ROM these days is like the best and most stable ROM for the Samsung Vibrant. I'm going to be having a link in the description if you want to flash it. And if you don't know how to flash a custom ROM, I'll have a video for that, alright. So, I'm going to be dividing my reviews into three parts. First, stability, like how stable it is, like performance. Two, battery life. Three, well, what's the third one? Yeah, customizations, what you, features you get, alright? So let's go ahead and start with the performance. This ROM is really smooth, I really love it, and again, it's like the smoothest ROM out there for the Samsung Galaxy S Vibrant, which is this phone. The phone with the incredible development, like I see phones like the Captivate and everything, they get development, development, but not as much as here. Anyway, so you do get, um... Let's say you want to do a browser test, and it's going to be smooth, but not much, all right? So, um, yeah, like, it will be smooth for a, for a single phone, for a single core phone, but, you know, it might lag, like, it won't lag, but just, like, when you scroll up and everything, it's going to set the white, it's going to show the white stuff that sound wrong, white stuff. So, it's running Angel 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, and it's based off, um, it got Cyanogen Mod features, it got AOKP features, and it got, that it changed, that change, you could change DPIs. So, performance is really good on this phone, I really love it, it's smooth, really smooth. And as you see, like, I, I got no problems here, and it might take a while if you want to start, you know. They gotta entalize, then you gotta speak. Well, and the only reason Google Now is not working is that I need to update it from the market. I didn't really update it. I'm not really taking care of this phone much. Um, I mess with the DPIs, that's why. And let's say I turn, oh yeah, I gotta turn my phone on. I mean, my Wi-Fi on. Duh. I'm not even sure if I, oh, there it is. Let's check if it will work now. Yup, I gotta update it from the market. Anyway, so, um, battery life. It depends what kind of battery you, you're using, alright? So, uh, I really messed up my battery life right here. Um, it's effed up. So, screen time, you gotta get, like, four and a half hours. Like, on this battery I have, I got four and a half hours. I got a 1800 milliamp pa power battery, 1800 milliamp battery. From Anchor, of course, I bought it on Amazon for like 9 bucks. It's cheap, and it's better than the stock battery. I tested it on the stock battery, and it, um, it gave me like about 4 hours. Not 4 hours, 4 hours, but about 4 hours. But remember that my stock battery have been been used for over 2 years uh, with the Samsung Vibrant. So, so you gotta buy a new, if you still use the Samsung Vibrant, you gotta buy a new battery. It's, it's like better for it, alright. So it gave to me, it gave, it gave me about like four hours of, four, four and a half, this battery gave me like about four and a half hours. Um, gaming, I didn't really do gaming on it, cause how, how will you game on this phone? Like I'm not making fun of it, but, but game, games won't work much, and you see I don't have any games right now. So normal web browsing and everything, and listen to music, and it gave me about four hours of screen time, and like, eight hours of um stand uh, like eight hours in total like i didn't i didn't really power my screen on for uh, f for uh, four straight hours i got like two hours in between and everything because you see i'm not really using this phone as much as before but it gave me four and a half hours of screen time so let's talk about the features which will be available in settings of course so as you see i got the oh i don't have the multi panel i used to have it so First, um, you don't you, you usually get the customization features up here, but then they switched it down here. Um, a really cool feature I like is like they got the dark Xylon. I, I like the dark ver version way better than the normal version. I don't really, I'm not really into gray at all, so black is better than gray. So when you go to Xylon tools, which is X Y E tools. You just go ahead and go into themes, and then here you get themes because you realize that you don't have themes and settings, you know. So, and then you get general UI, and then here it's kind of it's it's kind of like AOKP. Like I have AOKP right here, and it looks looks just like it. So go ahead and go to settings, and then go to ROM control. You don't get I, I know that you don't get um 
you don't get seams in here because you already have it outside settings but you still get like let's say you went to general UI and here you go to general UI here you get boot animation which you don't get here and then you get the custom carrier label which is which starts right here and then the notification count and then the status bar brightness which is down here and choose notification background which is up here so you get many features from AOKP and then you can even choose the C CRT um, animation so like you see when you lock it it just closes down like a OTV and I really like that animation if you don't want it you can just disable it um you, you know they also got what is that so yeah you got they got they got a way that you could just uh, close sideways and I, I, I don't like that much and cl close it depends on like the rotation like let's say I'm rotating I'm, I'm rotating it rotating it that way is gonna close from the side see so you know these kind of small features but really cool UI mod which is also available in AOKP and everything that's available in AOKP you gotta you, you find it here and even the new redesign in AOKP which is for the notification which is for the which is for the um for this thing what was it the navigation bar you see I got that said the same redesign and also for the lock screen I guess here just go to the lock screen and here go to the my bad yeah I can't find the lock they don't have lock locks the lock screen is outside the lock screen is outside not here right so you get pi controls too which is you know pi everyone knows pi these days enable pi so it may come from the right it may come from the bottom See it's right here, so let's put it on the right. So it's on the right right now, and then let's say you grab it up here, and this is really neat. I love this feature when it go when it grabs your quick settings here, and then grabs your quick set, and then here's your notifications, which is not available on the AOKP ROM. That's why I use the LMT launcher. Like you grab it all the way up here, then it just drops down your notification, nothing special. Wow, right here. They really need to add that in um in AOKP. They really need to add that because uh, I really like that feature. Second failure for the day. The camera falls off the camera stand. Ah, I hate that. So, anyway, so you also get the quick toggles, which is the same as AOKP style. And let's say toggle setup same as AOKP everything is like almost as fast as the same as AOKP except that here you don't really get the milestone AOKP you know you get the other AOKP like you don't have that thing I forgot what it's called the custom one the custom one like this one my bats so you grab it down here see I got set CPU so I, when I click on it it opens set CPU so because I changed my things a lot so I want to save battery as much as I could on my Nexus 4 so what I do is just change my CPU clock it up and down so uh, so when I clock it oh well, you know when you clock it down it just works well I, I forgot about the whole profile thing so I might enable it later so you get clock too and then you get everything from a UKP that you expect from a UKP and then you get lock screen which is right here just kind of like that say on the Jamal lock screen, my bad. And hybrid settings, which is just like Panoroid Android settings, but in Panoroid Android, it's easier to use. But seriously, it's way easier to use. App density, put it all the way back. Pair app layout and everything. Because I still, like, I forgot, like, the market, look how it looks. I'm gonna change the deep. Damn! I should put it on 320, I forgot. Hold on. Hybrid settings. Yup. Add density, I should put it on 320. Or 250. 
Because I still remember on Panerway the Angel, I used to keep it on 320. Now it's gonna work. So thanks for watching, everyone. This is just a quick overview of the theme uh, of the uh, Xana ROM. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, night, whenever you're watching us. And let's check if it worked. Not bad. I feel like a giant. Like, you know, like it's so small and my finger is so big. Kind of bad, but, you know, whatever. So next, I'm going to be reviewing the Panoroid Android drum for the HTC One S. Should I even review this? Nah. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.